In this video, we'll take a look at how I generated this one-to-one -one scale recreation of the city of Philadelphia in Unreal, and dive into the workflow for generating cities from OpenStreetMap using CityBuild. This map was created using Unreal 5.5 and CityBuild version 0.3.4. The workflow should look pretty similar if you're watching this later. Here we'll make use of both the OpenStreetMap import feature, as well as generative AI, to get the most accurate result possible in a short time frame. I also use the art assets included for free with CityBuild along with epic sample content to get me to the visual quality level I needed right away. I created some custom assets and simple scripts I'll show you to make this process even faster. If you need any asset, script, or preset seen here, feel free to reach out to us at the email address in the description. Let's get started. I first imported Google Maps reference and created the underlying landscape. In this case, elevation isn't super important, so I just sculpted the landscape manually. I then started out with the city by selecting the area I wanted from OpenStreetMap, importing it into CityBuild, and then generating the roads. By default, CityBuild will exclude streets tagged as service from the imported OSM file to avoid having any redundant roads. And it'll also exclude highways because we want those to be modular roads rather than the dynamic roads created by the OSM tool. I used a simple customizer blueprint I made just for this project. It will assign road presets based on tags like one-way, lanes, and so on. If you want to follow along, this blueprint is available in the description of this video. Once I ran the roads import, I did a quick pass to clean up any issues I saw with the generated road network. This is important to check if we want to use this as a game map, but it's not critical if we're only recording cinematics. I also reassigned road presets wherever we had a road that was too narrow or too wide. And finally, I filled in the shapes within our new roads. The last step is to draw on some highways using the modular roads tool. Following my satellite reference, I drew a raised highway along the river, as well as a sunken highway through the city center. Both highway presets are included for free in our modern city kit pack. With the road network complete, I can go ahead and convert these roads to static mesh assets and improve performance. I enabled the Include Street Scatter box to convert the props to instance mesh components as well, to avoid the impact of having all those individual mesh components on the roads. I did this in chunks so we can stream them in and out using world partition to reduce memory use even further. These meshes are pretty high poly, but we don't want to use Nanite on something this large, so we'll generate some LODs with the level architecture preset. In the real world, You'd see most of these areas used as plazas or parking lots, so we'll replicate that by assigning similar land uses to these lot actors. These downtown areas will be parking lots, this area can be a park, these townhomes will have walled in gardens and driveways. All of these land uses are included as examples with the Modern City Kit version 0.4 and up. With all that set up, it's time to generate our buildings. I'll go ahead and set our customizer to give us totally random building styles, because we'll assign the final building styles later. Alright, this is where it gets interesting. With these shapes generated, it's time to run a few cool utilities we have to finish up our buildings and match them with the real world. First up, we need to get the building styles correct. I use CityBuild's easily customizable interface to run a Python script allowing ChatGPT4 integration. This will look up the building on Google Street View, and replicate it in CityBuild as closely as possible. The script is available in the description if you'd like to try it yourself. I use this by first downloading the Street View image with another script, and then we can run assigned building style and GPT-4 will determine the most appropriate style automatically. To take the accuracy even further, GPT-4 can assign the appropriate ground floor shop, material, sign text, or even apply the correct road preset. I'll go ahead and assign styles across all the modular buildings, and then I'll run another utility that will detect where each building faces relative to the roads, and correctly determine which side should be the more ornate facades, and which side should be the simpler, more rundown sidewalls. For some of these downtown high-rise buildings, I'll draw a few new layers for additional detail using the building draw tool. Now we can place our landmark buildings. With all the buildings in place, let's optimize these as well. We want to convert all the procedural meshes to static meshes so we can use streaming and build HLD 
And we also want to get rid of all these modular building BPs, taking up extra resources. I used the two meshes button, then Unreal's merge actors tool to bash these into separate actors. I'll do two or three blocks at a time so we have fairly small streaming areas. I use Blender and Blossom to import the far distant buildings as simple shapes and assign basic PBR materials to them. I also imported a real world landscape mesh for the far distance. Finally, I set up the lighting and rendered a few shots of our finished city. I really hope you enjoyed this breakdown. We're actually working on full length guides for creating this and other demo cities to make sure that every step of the process is covered. Stay tuned for that, and I will see you next time.